Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura and today I am doing a tag video. This is going to be the first of seven tag videos that I'm going to be posting this week. So I'm going to do a tag video a day for a week in celebration of hitting a thousand subscribers. So um, I recently finally hit the thousand subscriber mark, which was really, really cool to see. I really, really uh, appreciate anyone who is following or watching or you know the interaction that you have and I'm genuinely flattered and humbled when you click the subscribe button because it means that you want to see me again and that's that's just like just warms my heart it is just so incredibly appreciated so thank you so much for that um, and I hope that you enjoy my content certainly if you want to see certain things on my videos or on my channel you are very welcome to uh, recommend them I do keep a running list of everything that everyone suggests to me and uh, yeah, I just try and, and do the ones that I think will work on this channel. So, um, you know, if you have suggestions, please feel free to send them along. I really, really appreciate uh, getting suggestions from you. Anyway, I am going to start off with the back to school tag. This was created by Bangity Bangs, um, and it is originally a book uh, tag. So I'm going to change the question slightly to fit manga because that's what I'm going to be answering with today. Um, so I was really excited to see this tag because um, back to school time is my favorite time of year. I love back to school. Um, I'm one of those like huge nerds that loves to be in school. Um, yeah. So I probably will be in school for the rest of my life. I have no intention of not taking classes at any given time ever because I love it so much. So Anyway, that's why this tag is sort of appropriate, because I love back to school, so let us get into these questions. Number one is fresh new start, pick a character who dresses well. Um, I'm not going to pick an individual character because I have a favorite uh, manga fashion designer. I just love her manga mostly because of the fashion. I like her storytelling as well, but I keep going back because I love her illustrations of her fashion and her character design. Um, and that's Mitsuba Takanashi. She also... Um, she is the author of Devil Does Exist, which is this title here, as well as Crimson Hero, which also was published partially by Viz. Um, but her uh, character design is so wonderful. Her characters uh, change their clothing, they change their hairstyles um, constantly through the manga, but you can always tell exactly who's who, which is not always the case in manga. And uh, I'm going to show you all the covers because I just think that her character design is wonderful. So, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So yeah, she's definitely my favorite fashion designer, and that's one of the main things that I notice for her is just every single page, the characters are just dressed so well and designed so well, and I, I love it so much. Uh, number two is New Lab Partner, a science fiction book that you own but haven't read yet. Um, and you're going to be kind of tired of seeing this one. Uh, this is Queen Emeraldus by Leiji Matsumoto, and I still have not read this, but I did read Galaxy Express 3.9, and uh, I can finally get into this one. And uh, spoiler for my next haul, I do have volume two now, so I do have the complete title. I hope to read it by the end of the year. If not, it still is one of my kind of priority reads, but I have other priority reads as well, so I still haven't picked this up, but I know it's going to be a great read, and I'm so excited to finally get into it. Number three is your favorite teacher. Choose the best mentor in a book. Um, I actually found this really difficult because most of the mentors that I could think of were actually kind of dumb <laughs> or dim-witted or um, perverted or just like they're more a comedy aspect rather than actually a good mentor. Um, but I did choose one and hopefully this one, this one work, sort of. I think he's a good mentor, um, and that would be uh, Atsushi Dojo, who is this character here. He is the uh, sergeant. He's a sergeant in the library task force, and he's the commanding officer of kind of the the failure uh, Kasahara, and Kasahara is a really good um, kind of military officer, but she's really bad at library work, which just, like, cracks me up so much. I love it so much. Um, but he is in a complicated situation because she has this um, ideal character in her mind of, of, of why she actually became part of the library task force and why she wants to train to be part of the task force. And he knows her past and so she, she says a lot of things and he, he's in this just sort of awkward p position. And so, you know, at some 
point he's her friend and some point he's like a good officer and he's encouraging but tough like he's he's just a, a good character but he's also in kind of a tough position because of his history and because he knows about her history and so there's there's lots of things going on but he's uh he's a he's a good character and he's a good mentor in uh, the library task force number four is new school supplies what's your favorite reading or writing accessories um, if I didn't have a manga channel, I would have a stationery channel. I love stationery. I buy stationery all the time. I don't buy quite as much stationery as manga, but it, it's pretty close. I love, love, love stationery. Um, one of my favorite collections of stationery would be this one. As you can see, this is my collection of my favorite pencil cases. Um, not all of my pencil cases. I certainly have more. Um, but they're my favorite ones, and let me show them to you because I'm not obsessed about them enough. Here's my strawberry milk pencil case. Here's a really cute uh, Rilakkuman pencil case. Uh, this is one of my newest pencil cases. This is Akazukin Cha Cha, it says. Um, this is from the 60th anniversary of Ribbon. I really like tin pencil cases, so I've got this one here with Doraemon on it. Um, another tin pencil case, this is from uh, Wizard of Oz, but it's one of my favorite illustrators. This is Shinji Kato. Um, I have this one, which is Sentimental Circus, which is a San X brand. Uh, one of my favorite pencil cases. It's actually, I think, a makeup bag, but I bought it as a pencil case intending it anyway. This is a Jetto. Uh, Choo Choo Cat. This one is Al uh, Little Red Riding Hood. Then I have this really wonderful Sailor Moon pencil case. It has a little star uh, for the zipper pull. Um, my Dr. Slump uh, pencil case. This one's got a really Chan and it says are you ready on it and then I have another really Chen Dr. Slump pencil case um, and then I got this one actually at uh, the airport in Japan at Narita Airport and it is a uh, Astro Boy pencil case. But, and my last pencil case in here is this little Sailor Moon one. It's actually a a band so you can put it around your book and carry your pen but it doesn't fit too much so I only have one pen in it and it is uh, this uh, Sailor Moon pen. So it's really cute but it's also really heavy so I just keep it in here. Back to the book tag. Uh, number five is Old Friends, a book you want to reread and a book that has great friendship in it. Uh, so for the title that I want to reread, it's the title that I read all the time, it's the title I want to read all the time, the title that I want to read as soon as I finish reading it, and it's the title that I read every year, um, and that is Red River. And uh, yeah, I can't help it. I love the series, and it's wonderful, and I always want to read it. And as for best friendship, there's a few that have good friendship, but this one in particular I really like because it's so um, just the characters are so incredibly different, but it works so well as a friendship because they're really exactly the same. Um, and that is Kamikaze Girls. It's just a one little volume. It is totally adorable. It's based off of a novel by Novella Takemoto, which I actually just borrowed from the library and I want to read, and hopefully we'll have a chance to read it um, really soon. It looks pretty short. This is art by Yukio Kanesada. Um, this is basically the story of two girls. They um, end up meeting um, I think sort of coincidentally, the one girl who is part of a biker gang um, asks this girl who is a Lolita, she likes to dress in pretty cute dresses and to wear lace and, you know, be as cute and dainty as possible. And so she asks her to help her find um, this master embroiderer because she wants to um, kind of jazz up her uh, biker jacket. They end up forming a really good, true, strong friendship and it's just really, really nice. They're both sort of part of these very kind of disenfranchised groups. They don't have a lot of friends themselves, and so they, they form a strong bond. And it's only in a single volume, but I think it's it's well worth reading, and it's, it's just a really nice heartwarming friendship. Number six is Ready for Sweater Weather, a title that features cold weather. Um, I'm not sure of too many where the entire series takes place in the cold weather, um, but, you know, it you know, snow or cold weather often is at least an episode in the title. Um, this one in particular is memorable because of the snow, and that is Millennium Snow, which is kind of funny that it's called Millennium Snow because it really is just an episode. Um, but 
This is by Bisco Hattori, and this is the same author as Orin High School Host Club, which is quite a popular title. It's basically about a girl who's in the hospital, and um, she has some condition. I don't think they ever really tell you. It's probably a heart condition, and uh, she's not expected to live too much longer, and so even, like, the nursing staff and stuff are letting her kind of just do what she wants, enjoy her life kind of at the end, and she ends up meeting a vampire. And a vampire, of course, can um, bite you and... Uh, kind of turn you into a vampire and let you live for eternity. Um, but it's it's more about um, how they become friends and how he as a vampire is actually quite lonely because he doesn't want to um, make someone suffer. He doesn't want to turn a human into a vampire to make them live alone for this eternity that he also has been living alone for. So it's it's kind of a story about that, um, but there is a whole episode that actually takes place in the snow, and uh, it's pretty cute. It's, it's kind of fun. It's a quick little read, and um, yeah, I like it. Number seven is Open House. Uh, pick a book that captured you from the first page. The book that I've got is A Love Roma, and um, I picked this title, like, for one, because it's got such an unusual uh, character design. As you can see from the cover, it's quite shiny. As you can see from the cover, it's got an unusual character design. Um, it's got, like, just a very vibrant, bright cover. It looks different than manga, so I'm already kind of intrigued what this is. Um, and then on the very first page, um, you can really get a sense of... Uh, what the character is about. So at the very beginning they're at lunch and the main protagonist comes up and he basically announced to the entire class, I'm in love with you, will you go out with me? And so it's just about him and not kind of understanding like social norms and being incredibly straightforward and upfront and so um, the entire series is about kind of them um, living their romantic teen lives in front of their entire schoolmates because he just doesn't have a good sense of like what is uh, appropriate for like the public and what's appropriate for like private and so uh, yeah it's quite funny because of that it's just it's a comedy it does read a lot like a uh, slapstick style comedy but it's it captured me right from the beginning because it was so different and because it starts so abruptly um, yeah, so I had fun with this. It didn't keep my attention the entire time because comedy rarely does, but um, it is a fun title. Number eight is It's Too Early for This, a book that you would get out of bed for. So the book that I am most anticipating, the book that I am super excited will be coming into English, I'm really hoping that there is a license or that someone is licensing it or that they're at least contemplating licensing it because I really, really want to read this in English. I've been looking forward to it since forever and um, I'm really, like, I definitely, the second that it gets announced or that it's available for pre-order, I will definitely have it for pre-order, and that is the prequel to Fushigi Yugi, the Byako Senki, I think it's called. Um, I am so looking forward to that. That is the, that's the series that I wanted to read besides the Genbu Kaiden. Like, Genbu Kaiden was great, but I really wanted to read Byako Senki because that is the character that I was most interested in of the of the, uh, the two girls that were remaining. So really excited for that. I know it's already publishing in Japanese. I was tempted to buy the magazines, but I was like, no, hold off. I will buy it when it's in English. So uh, I'm really anticipating that one. Number nine is this textbook cost how much? A book that you spent way too much for. Um, I do have a textbook actually that uh, I have downstairs in a box that I spent so much money on and I used it uh, for just to write one paper, but I it was uh, a treatise on the art of color mixing in Renaissance um, like tempera paints for frescoes. Like it was it was some long treatise. The book is about this big, and uh, it was a fantastic title, but it cost me so much money. I think that's my most expensive book, um, and I still have it because I only used it to write a paper. Um, at any rate, uh, the one for manga that I spent too much on would be Galaxy Express 3.9. Um, not because I disliked it, I actually love this title. I'm so happy to have it. It's a wonderful title, and um, yeah, I, I'm, I know that I'm very lucky to own this title, but I did spend more than cover price, and I spent more than cover price recently. And um, as you know, 
my policy is never spend more than cover price. And so the fact that I broke my own rule and I just feel really bad about that. Like even though I've read it and I, I'm so happy to have it, um, I'm really disappointed about that. And then I, I would just felt like an extra kind of rubbing my nose in it or a little, little kick, but it came damaged. And so like here you can see that there's like a tear on the, along the spine um, and there's bending and there's like quite a bit of chewed up uh, pages at the top. Like it's in, it's in okay shape, but it's not in good enough shape for me to have spent more than it originally was worth. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed about how much I spent for this. It wasn't a lot more. It was like ten, fifteen dollars more Canadian for this book. Um, but yeah, it really, yeah, it gets me. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be very rare occurrence if I ever do that again. And the last question is, uh, just choose your favorite fictional school. Um, in my mind, there is no doubt that this is the best school in all of manga, and that is Cromarty High School. I love this school so much, and this is definitely the class that I think would be just so much fun to be in. It's a very tough school. It is a school for gangsters, uh, or thugs, um, and all of the students are just very unique. Um, like, it's got a gorilla in the class, a robot in the class, a uh, Mexican wrestler in the class. Um, it's just really, really unique and messed up, and it's just so much fun to read. It's such a funny title, but yeah, I just absolutely love Cromarty High School. It's definitely the best high school. So I'm going to show you all the covers for this one as well, because it's so great. And this is my favorite character, Mekazawa Kun. That's number four, and number five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Anyway, it's such a good school. It's such a good comedy. It's so strange and funny. And uh, if you can get your hands on it, I highly recommend it because it's just the best. Um, but there also is an anime and that might be easier to watch because it is comedy. So um, yeah, anyway, my favorite school, Cromarty High School. Uh, so that's it for this tag. Um, like I said before, I'm not going to tag anyone because this one is sort of like the season's kind of over, so unless you want to do it, please feel free to do it, and then just let me know that you did decide to do it, and I will definitely go and check out your video. Um, I will be doing another tag video tomorrow, so you can look forward to that. I will be tagging people for the rest of the tag videos that I do this week, so if you want to, you know, not do this one and do some other ones, please feel free. Um, at any rate, thank you so much for watching my video and uh, subscribing and for being here uh, and the last year and a half of fun, and uh, hopefully you will stick around for another year and a half. Uh, I definitely will be sticking around, probably. And uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching my video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.